Welcome to the player ratings here on the Chronicles of Aguna podcast. We're focusing, of course, on Arsenal 5, Crystal Palace. Neil, I've got some player ratings out of 10 for you. Uh, we're going to start uh, with the goalkeeper, David Raya. We'll do the defence, the midfield, the forward line, and uh, we'll do the substitutes today as well. Let's start off with David Raya in goal. This one's a, a tough one, actually, because... There were times in the first half where I didn't feel massively comfortable with David Raya. There was a couple of bad bits of distribution. There was that really poor clearance that went straight to Lerma, who took a touch and then forced the save out of David Raya. There was a shot that was hit directly at him that he dropped, but fortunately for him, there was nobody around him to capitalise on the mistake. And then he just sort of pounced on the ball um, and, and made sure to, to deal with the danger. Yeah, I mean... I wasn't totally comfortable with David Raya, but what can I give someone in terms of a player rating who's a goalkeeper after they've kept a clean sheet? Like, I can say what I want to say, but how can I give him any less than a seven when he's just kept a clean sheet in a 5 nil win? So I'm going to give David Raya a seven out of ten. Take it into the defence, Ben White. I'm going to give him a seven. I thought he was solid. Uh, without being outstanding. And I'll say the same about Saliba today. I didn't really see the William Saliba that we've become accustomed to, where he's really dominant, where he's really controlling. I think that he was good enough. And, you know, Crystal Palace didn't exactly ask many questions of any of our defenders really today. But I'm struggling to give White or Saliba anything more than a seven. So I'm going to give them both a seven. Moving on to Gabriel, I'm going to give Gabriel an eight because defensively, I thought he was really, really good um, as he has been for quite some time now. But he was also really, really influential in terms of the outcome of this game and the result of this game. You know, two goals, really. I know one was was given as an own goal in the end, but, you know, essentially he made two goals happen by you know, putting his body on the line by being really aggressive in the way that he attacked the ball. He had a moment, didn't he, in the first half as well, where he was like up on the left wing, sort of, um, you know, trying to wrestle the ball back and, and involved in lots and lots of those sort of comings together and, and physical uh, altercations and stuff. Gabby was out there on a mission today. He really, really was. So I'm going to give him an eight out of 10. Zinchenko, I'm going to give him a seven and a half out of 10. I think Zinchenko in our build-up is really, really important at times. Now, I know I've said that I don't think we moved the ball through the lines quick enough at times, that we didn't have enough zip and tempo at times. Um, difficult to be critical, though, when you win 5-0. But Zinchenko going into that midfield, it did help us. And when you watch a game without Zinchenko and with Kivior at left-back, because he's limited Kivior um, in terms of what he can do on the ball in comparison to someone like Zinchenko, we always... You know, we always miss him when he's not in the side. Defensively, Zinchenko is not great. We all know that. I don't want to go over that again and again and again. Today, defensively, he was OK. He did enough. Wasn't asked many questions, admittedly. But I thought he was pretty good on the ball. Uh, so I'm going to give Zinchenko a 7.5 out of 10. Taking it on to the midfield, Declan Rice. I'm going to give Declan Rice a 6.5. This is probably the lowest rating I've ever given Declan Rice because... I always think he's really, really good. And I always think he gives you a base level of at least a seven and a seven and a half out of 10 every single time he takes to the field. But he was just a little bit off it today. And obviously we saw him go off with what looked like an injury problem later on in the game. And maybe that explains, um, or, or that explains his performance and why he wasn't quite at the level that we've become accustomed to. But he was a bit late to challenges at times. Um, you know, he was a bit loose with his passing on a couple of occasions. You know, he seemed to sort of hesitate when he got on the ball at times. And that just allowed Crystal Palace to get back behind the ball. He wasn't carrying the ball in the way that he normally does, where he sort of picks it up, puts his foot on it, looks up, looks for a pass. But then if that pass isn't on, he normally thinks, you know what, I need to get my team up the pitch. Here we go. I'm going to carry it. And he uses his big frame and his body and his big strides to get up the pitch. Didn't really do that today. So I'm going to give Declan Rice a six and a half. Martin Odegaard, I'm going to give him the same. I thought his performance was underwhelming today as well. In a game where you score five goals, you expect Martin Odegaard to be really influential. And today, the truth is that he wasn't. 
Um, am I concerned when it comes to Martin Odegaard? Because it's not the first time this season I've come away from a game feeling like that about him. No, not massively. Because I don't think he was bad. I just don't think he was anywhere near as good and as effective as we know he can be. Seven feels too high for Martin Odegaard based on today's performance. Six feels too harsh because, as I say, he wasn't bad. So I'm going to give him a six and a half. Kai Havertz, I'm going to give him a six and a half as well. Had his moments where he helped us create situations and scenarios. Uh, there was that lovely reverse pass with the outside of the boot to Jesus in the second half on a counter-attack. That was really good. Um, and, you know, he was part of those really good set-piece routines that allowed us to score the first and second goal. But again, a bit like Odegaard, a seven feels too high. A six feels maybe a bit harsh, so I'm going to stick him on the um, six and a half mark there. Moving into the front line, Bukayo Saka. I'm going to give Bukayo Saka a six. I thought it was really underwhelming today. I don't think he had any impact, really. Um, he wasn't having an impact when he was cutting in onto that left foot. He tried to go on the outside a couple of times, at least in the first half, and managed to force a couple of corners. But, you know, other than that, he was he, he was largely a bit part player today. And listen, I don't want to dig players out. Like, I'm not sitting here trying to, like, create scapegoats because we've won a game 5-0. But I'm just trying to assess their performances on an individual level based on purely on what I watched today. And I don't think Saka was worthy, is worthy of anything more than a six based on what we saw today. Leandro Trossard, I'm going to give him a seven because he scored a goal. Um, I think that's fair. Jesus, I'm going to give him a seven and a half because I thought he worked tirelessly. Didn't shy away from any challenges. Um, there was one moment at, where he sort of dived, didn't he? Um, he sort of dived in the box when Klein sort of kind of touched him. And I, I, was, I looked at that. I saw the replay and I was like, come on, man. Like, you can't be doing that. Um, do you know what? I'm going to downgrade Jesus's mark to a six, I think. I'm going to downgrade it to a six. Um, I was going to give him a seven, but now that I'm thinking about it and I'm trying to kind of summarise in my head what he did, he got caught offside what felt like a million and one times today, which was quite frustrating to watch as well. So, yeah, I'm going to downgrade his, his to a six. I'm going to give Emil Smith-Rowe, who came on as a substitute, a seven. Um, some really nice silky touches. Some good movement. Um, yeah, seven feels fair. Martinelli, I'm going to give him an eight and a half because he came on um, and uh, and stretched West... Uh, well, I almost said West Ham. Stretched Crystal Palace right at the end of the game and obviously tucked the ball away into the back of the net twice. Jorginho, I'm going to give him a seven and a half. I thought it was good when he came on. Kivior, I'll give him a seven. Look calm and assured um, in that centre-back position. Enketia difficult to give Enketia a rating because he wasn't on the pitch very long at all, but I'm going to give him a six because he, he just wasn't in the game. So six is about um, is about my average. So to summarise, my player ratings, Raya, seven, White, seven, Saliba, seven, Gabriel, eight, Zinchenko, seven and a half, Rice, six and a half, Odegaard, six and a half, Havertz, six and a half, Saka six, Jesus six, and Trossard seven. It's wild that only one player in our front six has got a seven and Arsenal have won the game 5-0. But that's that's how I, I saw it today. 